There's a reason why I typically stay away from mainstream topics. It's because my opinions are unlikely to reflect those who believe what they hear in the news. And when your opinions don't line up with something practically everyone believes, you quickly become a target for ridicule. So in this podcast episode, I'm going to take a slightly different approach. I'm going to share a few observations and sentences that might make you go, hmm, about the coronavirus. Although I'm not Mark Twain, I'd like to think that if he were still around, he may have said some of these very things. These observations aren't meant to offend. They aren't meant to get your panties in a bunch. They're just meant to make you think critically about what's going on in the world. These are uncertain times, and... I'm not unsympathetic. I have personally been self-isolating for over two weeks, with travel bans and inter-province travel being discouraged. I'm opting to stay in Calgary because no matter where I go, I'm just going to be self-isolating for the foreseeable future. But enough about me. Cordially, I hope you are well. I hope your family and friends are well. I wish my very best to anyone who has been directly and indirectly affected by this pandemic. While I don't think we're headed straight for Armageddon to begin with, I want you to know that there is hope. Things are going to get better. So with that, I'm going to get into some things that will make you go, hmm. But if you're easily offended, this is the time to shut off this podcast episode. Fair warning. Observations about the coronavirus. The only way toilet paper is going to save you in the apocalypse is if God himself accepts it as currency. Instead of buying toilet paper, consider buying books. You can be educated, entertained, and inspired by the content on the inside. And worse comes to worst, you can use them as toilet paper too. Alcohol takes the lives of up to 3 million people annually, and yet we don't shut down the world to analyze the situation. Car accidents result in roughly 1.35 million casualties each year, but you don't see anyone trying to put the world on lockdown to solve the issue. Each year, the flu takes the lives of 16,000 to 61,000 people. So far, we're right on track. The most common way for a virus to spread is through horizontal transmission, which includes contaminated transfusion and needle sharing. Yet everyone is in a hurry to get the vaccine. If vaccines worked and gave you immunity, why would you care about those who are unvaccinated? The government is offering employment insurance, subsidies, and loans to individuals and businesses right now. What's stopping them from taxing the hell out of us next year to recoup costs? If the pandemic is just a massively publicized distraction, then the thing you should be worried about is what's going on behind the scenes. Everybody's staying inside, where we're allowed to be. The thing we should be worried about is what's going on outside that we're not allowed to see. School's out for summer. School's out forever. Telling creatives to stay home is like telling them to go and be more productive. Here's some time to do what you love. Go do it. So with that, I'd like to close another episode of the podcast. No matter where you are, no matter what's going on in your world right now, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you my very, very best. This is a great time to think and reflect, set goals, make plans, strategize, connect with friends, create new connections, practice, write, record, publish, and more. It can be an opportunity for you to achieve the things you've been meaning to get to. Take care, be well, and don't overdo it. This is David Andrew Reeb, and I look forward to seeing you on the stages of the world when they're open again. Thank you for listening. Music in this episode was brought to you by Brian Young. Wherever you're listening to this right now, please consider leaving a five-star review and comment to help us get the word out about the podcast.